Welcome back, my dear followers. This is a new episode of The History of the American Mafia, a podcast written by Fabio Fabiano, translated and read by Grace Cardlisi. I do hope you enjoy today's new episode. Yet another protagonist today, we're going to talk about Santo Sorge. Santo Sorge was a powerful Sicilian mafioso living in the United States. His exact role was never really clear to the investigator. For scholars, he represents one of the unknowns of the Sicilian American. He was one of the top Sicilian Mafia bosses of his time. His opinion was also requested and listened to in important decisions that affected the American Mafia. He went back and forth between Italy and the United States. Born in Mussumeli in the province of Caltanissetta in Sicily, on the 11th of January 1908, he was considered Lucky Luciano's lieutenant in the heroin business after the Second World War. He was involved in heroin trafficking produced in France by Corsican gangsters, then exported to the United States. The opium needed to produce the heroin was grown in Turkey and Iran, and was transformed into morphine base, after being transported through Syria to Lebanon. From Beirut to Lebanon or Aleppo in Syria, the morphine base was shipped to clandestine labs in France to be converted into heroin. Soldier was a distinguished, good-looking man with a good education and was probably responsible for moving illegally earned money. Being able to count on his friendship with Jenko Russo also being related to him, he had high-level political contacts in it, even among members of the government. He used companies in the United States, in Sicily and in Panama. In his criminal biographical profile, we read that the first crimes attributed to him were those of brawling and provoking serious bodily injury. These crimes led to the registration of a criminal case that dates back to 1928 in Musumeli, his hometown, although those same criminal proceedings were dropped when the farmer who had accused him retracted apologizing for causing problems. In 1932, he was sentenced in Paris, France, to six months' imprisonment and a fine of 1,200 French francs for the crime of forgery and use of a false passport. A year later, he was sentenced for fraud in Ghent, Belgium, to five months and 20,000 Belgian francs. Other convictions for fraud followed in Palermo in 1937 and in Turin in 1939. In 1948, he was sentenced to three years and four months on unclear charges for political conspiracy in Florence, probably linked to espionage. In the meantime, he moved to the United States. He became a naturalized U.S. citizen living in New York City and maintained a respectable facade in America. Through directorships in front companies such as Rimrock, International Oil Company of New York, and the Foreign Economic Research Association. The presence of Santa Sorge was a certain during a series of meetings between the leaders of the American and Sicilian Mafia, which took place in Palermo between the 12th and 16th of October 1957 at the Grand Hotel delle Palme in Palermo. Representing the American Mafia families in these meetings were Joseph Bonanno, Lucky Luciano, John Bonventre, Franca Garofalo and Carmine Galante, while for the Sicilian Mafia families there were Salvatore Ciaschitedro Greco and his cousin Salvatore L'Ingegnere Greco, Giuseppe Genco Russo, Angelo La Barbera, Gaetano Badalamenti, Calcedonio di Pisa, Totò Minore, and Tommaso Buscetta. The main focus of these meetings between the American Mafia families and the Sicilian ones was the organization of heroin trafficking on an international basis. The FBI believed that this meeting laid down the groundwork for the Bonanno's crime family's entry into the heroin trafficking, 
Apparently, Sorge plays a fundamental role in that music, even though Bonanno, Bonventre and Galante had already spent a few days in Sicily. The meeting took place only after Santo Sorge's arrival in Palermo and ended only after the latter's departure from Palermo. However, Palermo's Court of Justice took care of Santo Sorge. He was accused in August 1965, together with 16 other associates with the Sicilian and American Mafia by Judge Aldo Vignieri, for criminal association, drug trafficking, and illegal currency trafficking in relation to the meeting that took place in Palermo in 1957. Also indicted were Joe Bonanno, John Ventre, Carmine Galante, Gaspari Margadino, John Priziola, Raffaele Quarasano, Frank Coppola and Joe Adonis. Although Italy had requested his extradition, Sorge was never arrested. The case against the defendant was dismissed for lack of evidence in June 1968. In 1967, Sorge sued the city of New York and two elderly retired police officers, John F. Shani and Ralph Salerno, of the New York Police Department's Special Organized Crime Unit, in a defamation case for a total of $418,000. Salona testified in 1965 before Judge Vignieri at the Palermo Criminal Court, declaring that Sorge had close relationships with Luciano, Vito Genovese, Galante and Bonanno. According to Sorge, the retired officers provided false information, admitting that he could not prove their claims with certainty. According to Salerno, Sorge was interested in Cosa Nostra in general, for which he carries out public relations. The libel suit was dismissed in March 1968. Sorge also filed a libel suit against Parade Publications for $1 million based on a magazine article by Jack Anderson published on January 21, 1962, which said that Sorge's name had been added to a list written by Harry Anslinger, the former commissioner of the Federal Bureau of Narcotics as the number five boss among the top ten American crime bosses. Judge Vignieri had also gone to visit the justice collaborator Joe Valaki, who declared, I know Santo Sorge and I know that he belongs to Cosa Nostra. It is my personal knowledge that his function was to go and come from America to Italy and vice versa, carrying out tasks to me unknown. I have never been able to understand which family he belongs to. He was a close friend of all the Cosa Nostra's bosses. He was in fact close to Carlo Gambino, the boss of New York City's Gambino crime family. Sorge died in New York on May 27, 1972. His disappearance is shrouded in mystery, as it is unclear whether he was murdered or whether he died of natural causes.